Hey guys, it's Lydia here from Creator Studios, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to mount your 3D printer, like my TiVo Tarantula, to a wooden base and level your bed. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can already see back there on my TiVo Tarantula, I do already have a wooden base. Now, that wooden base is kind of bowed, so that's why I've been having a lot of problem with leveling my bed and keeping it level. Uh, so I do have this brand new piece of wood. It is not completely square. Um, it's more of a rectangle, but that will work for me. Um, you can get any kind of wood, whatever you prefer. It doesn't matter the type of wood. Um, just make sure that it does have enough room for the Y axis and the X axis. Uh, my Y axis is a lot longer, so that's why I'm going to have this long part as you can see right here. Uh, you can have, like I have here, a completely square uh, board which will have extra area on the sides depending on what your printer is or what brand your printer is. Um, as you can see I have a little part over here for my LCD screen. I'm not sure if I will have all that room on my new board but I will have to deal with that later. And then, as you can see, I have my bed off. Like I mentioned, I've been having trouble uh, keeping it level, so I'm going to re-level this once I get on the new board because I think my problem was the board. What you're also going to need is some brackets to mount your printer to your bed. Now, because this printer has rails and it was a DIY kit, there are files for this printer on Thingiverse so that I can print out these little brackets. Now as you can see I already have these brackets so I have four for each corner and then I do have one right here. Now this doesn't really do anything for me. I need to make a couple more stabilizers but that is one big upgrade you want to do on your printer if you have a TiVo Tarantula. Um, that's what I've been working on. Uh, you guys know that I've upgraded a lot of these parts, almost all of the acrylic parts. So let's just disassemble this printer from the board and then put it on the new one. So basically what I'm just doing here is taking off all of the stabilizers and then the part down here that holds the printer to the bed and that's just a simple easy three screws um, taken off and uh, it's not that hard actually just quick uh, it took a lot longer than it seems in this video uh, but then I have to unscrew everything including the big power box in the back and then the LCD screen in the front. I had a little hard time taking that off because the screw was stripped and basically just going to lift it up, go put the other board down on the floor and then just replace it with the new one. Uh, I'm going to put in the brass brackets and just mark where I had to drill the hole and then put the bracket on the printer and then just drill the holes. I did then start using a power drill uh, just to make things go a lot faster and easier because the little screwdriver wasn't working very well and I wanted to make sure everything was flat on the floor of the board and then I'm just going to put on the bracket that I had before which doesn't really do anything but I just wanted to make sure it was there and then I'm just taking the air compressor and cleaning everything up a little bit uh, then I'm just going to fix up my bed now this tape as you can see I put a lot on here but I do take it off Alright, so now that I have everything secured to the bed, uh, what you want to do is make sure your wheels are on here in the correct way. Now there are two screws, I'm not really sure what they're called, I kind of forgot, um, but they are different than a normal nut. And then on the other two, you just have these big white washers. Now um, there are some videos on assembling the bed for the TiVo Tarantula. And if you don't have the TiVo Tarantula, then you can just skip this part. Uh, but you basically want to make sure everything is tight. Now, this aluminum bed I got a while ago, almost a year ago. And it was one of the first upgrades I did to this printer. It comes with an acrylic one, and that one broke. So um, I really recommend investing in an aluminum bed. And uh, yeah, because it doesn't warp, and it's nice and strong for keeping your bed flat and level. So what we're going to do is just put it on the rails and then with these nuts down here you want to tighten them. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to figure out how to get it secure so it doesn't wobble and then you're just going to put the belts 
through um, these two side holes as I'm pointing at now. And now what I'm just doing is loosening the little special nuts that are on the wheels just to make it sit on the rail and then I have to tighten it. Now I did not show you guys me taking this back off. I had to take it off and figure out how to get it tightened and level but now I did. I just skipped to that part and then what you want to do is just feed your belts through little holes and pull it really tight with some players. You want to make sure it is super tight and basically your belts want to be as tight as a guitar string. They want to be super super tight so that it does not have any skipping but make sure they're not too tight so that it doesn't skip. And then what I'm just going to do here is just put my um, springs on and everything. Now I did not finish putting on the bottom screws but I'm finishing those and then I'm just going to mount this power board in the back and then everything will be set and then I'm just going to put the LCD screen back up in front and make sure it is pretty easy to use. Now in the back I am just going to tighten these belts. I don't think they really need a tightening because I do have this tightener on the side. Alright guys so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean up my 3D printer and put it on a new board. I know I didn't show a lot of things in detail but I hope you learned something. Um, I still have to finish putting my bed together. Then I have to put a new thermistor on my hot end so I can get it all working up again and then put my glass bed back on. Uh, again, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you, Naomi Wu, for the basically 300 subscribers you sent over to me from your channel. Thank you everyone for subscribing and checking out my channel. I'm really excited to hit almost 600 subscribers and those 300 subscribers came in about seven hours. Thank you again guys for subscribing and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.